Hey everyone, it's Gina and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look and a short review on the new Becca Cosmetics Volcano Goddess Palette. I love Becca Cosmetics. They always have really nice shimmery products, great highlighters, lip colors, and eyeshadows. I haven't tried a whole lot of their eyeshadows, so this will be interesting to see what my thoughts are on this. This is sort of like a first impression, first time I'm using this palette. Um, but the look that I created is this smoky navy look, which looks amazing if you have brown eyes or any eye color, of course. And then I paired it with one of their new lip glosses. And as you all know, I love to save some of the products that I get from them for you all to give away. So at the end of the video, I will be giving away a new highlighter shade and then two lip glosses. So make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video for that. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So I always start off first with a primer. I'm just using my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eye primer and I'm applying this all over my eye. First shade I'm gonna pick up is called Agate Ash and this is just a nice light taupe color. This is pretty much like a satin to shimmer finish but it's not as shimmery as some of the other shades. I'm just using my Sigma eye shading brush to pack this all over the lid. Y'all know me, I like to deepen up the outer V a little bit so I am gonna take Hematite and then Midnight Sapphire which is a dark royal blue color and then like a slate gray color and these are both very shimmery. I'm mixing the two together because I didn't want anything bright blue so I wanted to kind of tone down the blue a little bit with some of that gray. So I'm just applying that to the outer corner of my lid and taking it a little bit into the crease. So now using a Sigma E35 blending brush, I'm gonna take the shade called Crater, which is a little bit darker than the first shade that we use. It's a darker taupe. This again is not quite as shimmery. It's more of like a satin to light shimmer finish and I'm just taking this all throughout my crease. I'm kind of going a little bit high with it because I'm making it a little bit more dramatic, trying to step outside the box. Um, but again, I try to make these looks still wearable for you all. This is definitely a nighttime look. So now I'm gonna go in with my highlight shade and I'm just gonna use cloud and I also mix in a little bit of the volcanic sand just to make sure that it's not too white and bright and I'm just applying this to my brow bone and that just helps to blend out that crease color. So I'm just kind of switching back and forth between my brushes. I always do those just to make sure that I get the perfect gradient. I added in a little bit more of the Midnight Sapphire to make it a little bit more blue. I also went back in with um, the Agate Ash and just applied that to the inner corner to just brighten it up a little bit more. And then I'm blending some more back and forth with my um, crease colors. So now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take my Sigma pencil brush and I'm gonna pick up Midnight Sapphire again, which is the royal blue color. And I'm applying that to the lower lash line to kind of tie everything in together. So I also took some of that shade on a small tapered blending brush and this just kind of helped to deepen up the outer V a little bit, gave it a little bit more dimension, but you could skip it if you don't want it to be too dramatic. So now I wanted to really brighten up the inner corner like I always try to do because my eyes are pretty small so I like to make them look wide and awake. I took the shade called Diamond Dust. This is almost like a holographic shadow because it's a shimmery white but it has some pink undertones to it so when the light hits it, it looks a little bit like a rose gold color. Um, so I'm applying that to the inner corner to help brighten up the eyes and this really made everything pop. I also took it on the inner corner of the lower lash line too. And I dabbed a little bit on the arch of my brow too. So one thing I always like to do is clean up the under eye because I like to apply my foundation before shadow, but sometimes the fallout and stuff um, can start to mess up my concealer underneath. So I'm just gonna touch that up a little bit. I'm gonna use one of my favorite under eye concealers. It's the Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer. And mine is in the shade Cream. And I'm just dotting this onto um, my under eyes and I'm blending it out using the Sedona Lay Synthetic Blending Brush. And I'm just kind of dabbing it to blend it. Then I went in with my ELF um, foundation brush that I used to blend it even further. It looks really white on camera, but in person it actually doesn't show up that bright under my eyes. It just blends out really nice and really helps to highlight and clean everything up, especially those edges where the shadow might have fallen down too far. And I just set it with a little bit of powder that was left over on my powder brush. So that is it for shadow. So now I'm moving on to liner. I'm actually gonna use this e.l.f. This is the Waterproof Metallic Liner. And this is in the shade Blue Moon, which is like a dark navy teal color. This went really well with the look. I'm just applying it to the waterline on the lower lash line. And this just kind of gives it a little more dimension and makes it look a lot more smoky. But if you wanna go for more of a wearable look, I would skip this step. So now I'm gonna use some gel liner. This is my favorite from Tarte. This is the Black Clay Pot. This is the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Gel Liner. Using my favorite Sigma Winged Eyeliner Brush to apply this, and I'm just creating a very thin line, keeping it very close to the lash line, creating a wing, and I'm also taking it down onto the lower lash line and kind of smudging it in with that waterline color. I also blend it out to the liner on the bottom a little bit too. So now that we're done with liner, I'm gonna move on to curling my eyelashes, and then I'm applying some of my Maybelline Lash Sensational. I did about two coats of this. So since I already had my face makeup on, I didn't have on my blush though, so I'm gonna use this one from Becca. This is their Luminous Finish Blushed Copper 
blush and this is really an interesting color because it's like a bronze coppery color it almost looks like it could be a bronzer but it has like an amber warm color to it so I really like pairing this with kind of bold looks because it's pretty much a neutral bronze color I'm just using my Sigma brush to apply this to my cheekbones so now for my highlighter I'm going in with the Becca vanilla quartz this is one of my favorite highlighters of theirs it's very bold it really pops on the cheeks and I'm kind of focusing it lately kind of closer to my nose and that just helps the light catch it a little bit more with the way my cheekbones are shaped. I find that it just helps make it show up a little bit better to bring it closer in. But if you had really large pores or any oiliness going on, you wouldn't want to take that too close to the nose. So now moving on to lips, I'm going to use one of their brand new glow glosses. This one is in Molten Mauve, and this goes with the collection. It's a really pretty mauve color, but it has tons of gold shimmer in it. It's so unique. I've never seen a sheer mauve like this have so much shimmer to it and shine. It doesn't look glittery on the lips or anything, but it has a really nice shine to it. These are gorgeous. I love that this came in the collection because my favorite shade to wear is mauve for sure. And it really um, goes nicely with bold looks because it's still neutral, but it's definitely wearable at the same time. And you can tone it down by blotting it, or you could even apply a lipstick underneath or a lip liner if you wanted it to be more bold. That is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. And now let's get into actually the palette and the products that you're going to win and my thoughts on the palette. Overall, I am pretty impressed with the palette. I love the shade range that it has. I think they're really great. Great. I love how it has a lot of jewel tones in it. I feel like this is great for the holiday time. There's not too many shades, but it's just the right amount. Like, and I like the um, curation of the shades together, I guess. Um, I wish there was a few more matte. There's only three matte in here for brow bone colors. And then I guess like this could be a transition color. So now that I've actually swatched these, I'm really impressed at the texture of them. I didn't realize this when I was just applying it to my eyes, but they are so creamy in texture. I've never felt any shadows like this before super buttery and creamy, even more buttery of a texture than like the Lorac shadows that are known to be like that. These are even creamier and more pigmented. Um, the only one that wasn't as pigmented as it looks in the pan is that navy blue shade. So it's the one on the bottom right hand corner of my hand. That one you can see comes out a lot more sheer, which is okay. Like if you want something more wearable, um, but it looks obviously a lot more bold in the pan. Um, than it actually looks on the skin. But I was so impressed with these, especially those matte shades. I've never felt matte shades that are so buttery and not dry feeling. I do definitely look like I have on blue shadow, but it's not too vibrant, I wouldn't say, unless if you probably used it with a wet synthetic brush. I don't feel like they're quite as vibrant as they look in the pan, but I bet if I tried it with a wet brush, it would be a lot more vibrant. Um, so that is one thing to keep in mind. So I'm gonna have picture swatches and stuff of this palette. I'm gonna swatch everything so you can see it. It's gonna be over on my blog, so I'll have the accompanying blog post that goes with this video. It'll be the first link in the description box down below, so you can head over there if you wanna see more about this palette. So now for the giveaway part, you guys know I love giving back to you whenever I get these products because I love sharing some with you because I don't need any more makeup, um, but I like to keep a few to try out and to do for the review, but um, I'm going to be giving away a brand new highlighter shade from them and then two of the glow glosses. So these are great for the holiday time too, so this is definitely a good giveaway, kind of gearing up for the holidays. So I have the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed highlighter this is in gold lava and this is a super pigmented gold this is definitely going to be amazing if you have an olive or a deep skin tone i wish i could swatch it on my fair skin but i don't want to put my hands in your product here um, but i'm sure it's going to look gorgeous on fair skin too so the two glow gloss shades so i have one really pretty shimmery red this one is in ruby fire great for the holidays this looks like it would be a very wearable red. You guys know I love liquid glosses like this or liquid lipsticks in a red because it makes it a whole lot easier to wear a red lip. Then this is a pretty shimmery gold and this one is in metamorphic gold. So that is so pretty. So this pretty much looks like their highlighter that I just showed you but in a lip gloss form. So pretty for the holidays. So all you have to do to enter to win is just leave me a comment down below. You can tell me what product you're loving recently, if you have any new video requests. I'm gonna be doing a hair series very soon on curly hair, so let me know if you have any questions or video requests that can be your comment entry. And of course, make sure you're subscribed here to my channel because these giveaways are for my subscribers. And you can always share it too if you wanna earn some extra entries, just hit the share button down below and you can post it to your social media handles. But if you do decide to do the extra entry bonus option, make sure you leave that in a comment and leave a second comment for it. That way I can count it as an additional entry. So make sure you leave 
what you did to enter. Like if you entered on Twitter, just leave me your Twitter username and tell me you entered on Twitter as your second comment for your bonus entry. So I'll put the rules and stuff in the description box down below. It will be open internationally and I'll have it going on for one week. And if you wanna see who won my last giveaway, I will put that information down below as well. So that's it for this tutorial and review. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments and check out the blog post too that goes with this video. That'll be the first link in the description box down below for all the product links. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications so you are notified when I post a new video and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye everyone.